Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, where we've been doing a great job lately. We've been crushing it, pseudo-crushing it at the very least. Ooh, data miner! So that's a big fudge, no? J8VKT0M3. Good rate of fire, bad damage, good speed, and HP's a little bit of a clusterfuck. Um, well, I mean, that's a little audacious. It's not a clusterfuck. It's just not... Renewable. 3 HP is good. All spirit hearts, less good. Uh, we also start with anti-grav, which explains, you know, why our rate of fire is actually pretty solid, but I, I think that actually we'd have to consider 9 rate of fire maybe slightly below average when you consider that we have anti-grav as well. So, um, this is gonna be a delicate start to a run. What we are going to do is, uh... We're gonna try to play very cautiously to begin with here. We have some not horrible stuff going on for us right now. Like, three spirit arts is... You know, we should be able to live for a floor or two on three spirit arts, no problem. Data Miner, of course, I, I used a couple runs ago. I hate it. I actually, I think this item is bad and not fun. Um, and I am gonna try my damnedest to not use it. But I'll admit that in true Vince Vaughnian fashion, I may not like it, but goddammit, I do respect that it gives us a very, very small chance through uh, repeated use to actually improve the stats that we, w that we want uh, and not really completely screw over the the stats that we cherish as well. Um, we do start with Flat Penny apparently as well. I think we're going to create this gentleman right here and then blow him up. And that created a lot of keys for us, so I'm not disappointed there. And... Uh, what I'm thinking right now, by the way, Mysterious Liquid from our shop, solid item. Obviously not that great against uh, flying enemies, but ignoring them, uh, it's a pretty solid setup here. And if we fight certain bosses like Pin, for example, this is good not, uh, Pin would be okay. But if we fight certain bosses like Larry Jr., for example, now we're cooking with gas. What I'm thinking is that we'll probably, because we have a, an unusually high number of uh, consumables to begin with, in pretty much every category. Ooh, a luck upgrade is not bad either. What if, mm, okay, we go to our curse room and then go to our shop to try to get the money, or sorry, the spirit heart back that we spent on the, uh, on the curse room. And that's definitely doable. Okay, I'm gonna try to blow that guy up, save two bombs. Ugh. I was really hoping we'd get some cash because there's a, a five cents uh, card in there. That five cent card could be Joker to a spades, to a clubs, to a hearts, hopefully not, but it could be, uh, to a diamond, something that provides us with a lot of value in the future. So, you know, you gotta, I think you gotta make plays like that in a situation like this. You gotta take risks because we wanna get better as fast as possible. So I'm gonna save my bombs for now because if we're fighting a nasty boss, these, uh, these bombs, especially considering they're poisonous, might be pretty good for us. Hey, Tomo, what's wrong, buddy? Why, why are you sitting in your box facing the wrong way? Makes you look antisocial. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that if you want to be antisocial right now. I just want to make sure you're all right, buddy. Tomo. Tomo. Oh, he's okay. All right. You know, you know how cats is and all that. We got Latchkey, which is... Well, I mean, I, I talked about this idiom on a recent episode, but it's really treating the, uh, the symptoms rather than the, than the disease here. We get better HP, which is good, but we don't really want, I mean, it's not that we don't want better HP. It's that better HP is not as important for us as, oh, that was really d disappointing as far as ways to take damage go. We, we want to not have to worry about the fact that we have three and a half HP, which means that we're very much interested in, I mean, we should take Able for sure, but we're very much interested in, you know, upping our, our damage in DPS. And maybe picking up like some renewable HP wouldn't be the worst thing in the world either, so. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a tough call, I guess. Latchkey's just okay. For now. In in the future, may pay dividends. But for now, not the uh, the coup that we were really looking for. Fortunately, unfortunately, who cares? For now, though, um, this room turned out okay. Dingle uh, eats it pretty hard against Mysterious Liquid. 
all of our shots got killed by a single dip that spawned in the moment. So that's pretty disappointing. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's not the best idea to hold these shots. Maybe it's a better idea to actually spend them, you know? Yeah, that was really good. Bomb? No bomb. Really wanted the bomb because I want to uh, get that last golden chest there. We got so many keys. All right. Spirit hearts from one, guppy items from the other. Classic. Nailed it. He threaded the needle! I had stood there. I was standing on the spikes. I thought I was the world's smartest man when I was standing there. Because I was like, this spider's never going to find his way through here. I can't believe that he had the greatest pathfinding I've ever seen on an enemy in this video game. How does he do it? I do not know, but I aspire one day to be like that spider. So courageous. And yet, despite his minuscule size, well, he's got more courage than the best of us, doesn't he? It's an uplifting story if it wasn't so f fucking annoying. <laughs> Alright, bad damage, bad damage. Great room, though. Snag it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a bold play. I know there's a tinted rock. I think we're getting a bomb back right here. So, I'm gonna crack this open. I'm gonna grab the nickel. And you know what? I'm gonna insulate. I'm gonna grab the bomb. Everything else gets re-rolled. Get a golden chest. Oh, my lanta. That's a pretty good setup. I think that was a good decision. Now we got two bombs. We use one right here. Give us two bombs back and another spirit heart. And then, okay, well, uh, Ouija board is actually not that bad, but it's certainly not something I'm, I'm eager to get. And then we come back here. We got three bombs now. Secret room. Wow, okay. Fuck me, I guess. Um, we will try to get a, uh, a bomb out of here. We got a pill. The pill is bad gas. Bomber. But we still can open this, and this will be a great time for Guppy's head, let me tell you what. All right, well, a bomb and three cents and two keys. That's pretty good. Our shop is shaping up to be just the world's greatest area for us. I'm, oh, it's got so many good items. It's going to make your freaking head spin. Okay. That's where we want a bomb right now. We can get that red chest and, uh, I mean, Bible tract if we want it. Why is a red chest more valuable than a spirit heart at this point? Because I didn't see the spirit heart. Does that answer your question in at least an honest fashion? Oh, it's an arcade, which is awesome. So first off, see if you can blow up this key beggar. Yeah, saw it coming a mile away. <laughs> we got Satanic Bible nonetheless, so that's great. We're close to Bookworm, closer to Bookworm. No, close to Bookworm, I think is fair. We still got a shop that we want to go to, and we still got 29 cents to use, you know, once we get there, so... We've done a pretty good job on this floor of, if not dodging, at least a pretty good job of not getting our asses kicked completely and, and thoroughly. Um, tarot cloth is good. Tarot cloth is great, actually. I would say tarot cloth is one of the best trinkets in the game. So I'm very, very stoked to have it. And we got the steam sale, so everything's half off for the rest of the game. Fair enough uh, to probably operate under the assumption right now that there is no... Uh, way that we get to boss rush. We're going to be way too slow to at least think it's likely. Doesn't mean it can't happen, but means it's probably not the most likely outcome for us right now. But we got to deal with the devil. We're going to be leaving this floor with some HP, even if we take a deal with the devil, uh, unless we die. Um, but I, I feel like I I probably don't need... Oh, you motherfucker. I feel like I probably don't need to place that caveat down every time. Caveat. Oh, I hate you. Please just die. Our shots are not good enough to deal with this. Range up. Not what we're looking for. Uh, we will absolutely take the mark. Sure, it, it does make life a little tricky with our HP, but, you know, one red heart, two spirit hearts is better than three spirit hearts. I don't think we want to take the hermit card yet. So, honestly, I was expecting that after that last floor, maybe we would find ourselves in a position where, where we had basically already won. And we just had to, you know, go through the motions. But that's not the case. Um, this run is still very much up in the air, unfortunately. Nine lives would go a long way towards making me feel better, though. Okay. I, I need to... I need to do one of two things. 
I need to get items that make anti-grav less bad, or I need to stop charging up anti-grav shots. Holy shit, we got nine lives. Okay, so that's great. Um, and you're, you're seeing, like, for once, genuine emotion from me. This this is about as, as uneven keeled as I get. Um, because I'm so happy that we got items that are going to pull us out of this uh, relatively rough spot here. Again, when I said that we had, you know, better than average rate of fire, I was operating under the assumption we wouldn't have an item like anti-grav, which is... There were times, there was a long period in my life where I, I thought anti-grav was just misunderstood. Maybe it's a sign of the times that I now look at an item like anti-grav and I, I look at it hyper-analytically. I go, sure, it's a tears upgrade, but, you know, we're gonna miss, like, more, a higher percentage of shots than the tears upgrade that you actually get, so, you know, is it really worth it? My answer is no. The other thing is we just haven't had anti-grav force itself into a run in, in quite some time, so... Um, it's been a while since we used it. Maybe by the end of this, we'll, we'll get, like, some brimstone shenanigans that'll make me feel a little bit better about my, uh, my performance on this run. As of yet, the situation has not presented itself. One of these days, dude. One of these days! You know what we need? <laughs> First off, thank you. But secondly, shot speed. Ooh, you gotta check. You gotta, you just do it and then teleport out. I was gonna say, we're getting something. Stop this. Oh, dude, it's so good. And remember, everything's half price, so I'm looking at this, and I'm saying, you know what? We already did that don't talk to me or my son ever again run. We're not gonna do that right now. Uh, although... I do love the idea of trying to make... Uh, I didn't mean to buy that. I do love the idea of trying to make this uh, potato peeler run happen. But Pokemans at half price? I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't want to talk about that damage I just took. We could use potato peeler once, but I, I think I'd rather just keep our deal with the devil odds as... as well, the, the odds don't change. I'd rather keep our deal with the devil prospects better, though. And what I mean by prospects in this situation is just like... You know, the ability to take a deal with the devil, um, which is definitely going to be impacted negatively by having no red hearts. Although nine lives sort of changes that. Okay, I am taking so much dumb damage that is completely unnecessary to take. I'm considering taking the fool card, like, or not the fool card, the, the tick trinket. The, um, the tick, I think, I've underrated. And certainly not in every situation is it a, is it a good item, but... Or is it a good thing to have? Because item is a keyword in this game. But um, it is sometimes warranted. And in a situation in which it seems like our DPS is just eating garbage right now. Might be the right call. The other thing is we don't need flat penny anymore because we have 22 keys. If we get a bombs or key or something we might start to you know, feel differently about that. But for now, it's inconsequential. Get the heck out of there. Um, a charmed Pooter appears. I think, like, I have to come up with, like, a new word for Pokemans. Not not a new name for it, but it's, like, another category of item. It's, like, an item I am never excited about, but I'm also, like, never disappointed by. I'm trying to think of other stuff that's in that category. Like, items worse than Small Rock, but better than, like, Mom's Heels. Trying to think, uh, like Aquarius is almost in there or something. But even a Aquarius is a lot worse than Pokemans, I think. Or I think it might even be called Pokemon Go. I just at this point I got my own pet names, and that's more important to me. Have we already been to that? That's a that's a regular ass secret room. Weird. Um, I desperately, desperately desire DPS, particularly. Uh, that sucked. Well, I was gonna say particularly rate of fire, but no, it doesn't matter. Give me what whatever the fuck you want to give me. As long as you just push me and then just touch me till I can get my little satisfaction. Dude, mysterious liquid absolutely craps on Bighorn. I had no idea. 
We did get a deal with the devil. We got Screw. Very, very nice tears upgrade. Straight up, we want to become Dark Judas. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. So how do you do that? Take this. Walk out here. We got two HP. Oh, but our nine lives are going to come first. It's... <sighs> I still want it and our own lives to become Dark Judas. Even though it's going to take 100,000 years, and it, we're, we're not going to have... What I wanted to... I should have taken the Pact and then taken Dark Judas, is, is the, the cliff notes of what I'm about to say here. But I forgot we had nine lives, which is my own bad, of course. But what I thought is, um, we'll walk out, kill ourselves, uh, and then we'll, tell, we'll respawn back inside of the deal with the devil, basically. So don't use your charge here, of course. We got Big Chubby. Um, Big Chubby is mostly decent because he blocks bullets, in my opinion. So let's um, become Dark Judas now. And this is going to take forever, but it's also going to basically win us the game. Probably. So I, I also, don't get me wrong, I hate the fact that we're probably not going to be able to get the pact. That's, that's a crazy bummer. There's, there's got to be a faster way. So, prepare yourself for this. I wish that there was a more practical solution here. But, becoming Dark Judas is going to solve a lot of our problems here. And you might say, oh, what's the point of having nine lives? There's an obvious point to having nine lives. And the obvious point to having nine lives is that um, we can still get the Guppy transformation possibility. So, I think if you look at this from a relatively reasoned perspective... As annoying as this is to do, it's the right call. Now, eight lives deep into the delirium fight. Maybe that ninth life could have saved us. Let's hope that with Dark Judas, that situation doesn't have to happen. Also, uh, not very good odds we're getting the delirium fight on this one, but, you know, I admire your hope. We still have one life. Yeah, okay, that's, that's good. As we die, respawn as Dark Judas. We can fly. Got a lot of damage. Plus 0 .01 shot speed. That's that's really the big deal there. And our damage has basically doubled just through our, you know, perseverance there. Uh, well, maybe a little bit of a weighty word to use, but you get the idea. I tilted my head at the screen like, really? No secret room? But maybe I didn't place the bomb right, but I'm just going gonna, gonna to play it cool here. All right. Okie dokie. Goodbye, my uh, sweet judgment friend. I hardly knew ye. I would have loved to have played the Judgment there, because, uh, you know, pretty good chance we get some HP, and HP right now is not the enemy. HP is our friends. You can tell because HP is a nickname. Nicknames are for friends, and health points are friends of mine right now. I am going to be a little ballsy, though, and I think we can afford to be, because... Honestly, last floor we handled our damage and our rate of fire. Thank you, game, by the way, for meeting me halfway on those. I really appreciate it. Speed upgrade, nothing wrong with that. 1.45 speed plus the ability to fly gives us a lot of maneuverability here. And, wow, this turned out to be... At first I was a little unhappy with the way that that room turned out, but uh, came together in the end there. So... We're about two floors behind schedule right now, so... Boss Rush is a pipe dream that will no longer exist except in memory. It only hurts when I dream about it at this point. But Boss Rush... <clears throat> it sounded like I got choked up. It's just a little throat granola. That sounded gross. But, I mean, it sounded sexual. It's still gross. Throat granola is still gross. But uh, it's not gross in the, you know, the way that you're thinking, you sickos. Five room. All right. So, again... Thinking that probably Boss Rush is a low percentage play right now, but we will use the five room. You know, uh, Mysterious Liquid, or not Mysterious Liquid, um, my reflection. I don't really know if it's good or bad for us, but I do know that we're putting a lot of shots on the screen. And it, in a weird way, I almost feel like better, like I'm swirling these shots around me. They might actually be substantially worse, but they're cooler. And that, that's important to me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm all about coolness. Ain't nothing cooler than 
playing a video game. It's uh, 9.51 p.m. on a Friday night. Not not just playing a video game, but playing a video game. That's also work. Not that it's not a great time, of course. So Lump of Coal uh, is actually, I think, pretty good. The longer these shots survive, the better they'll be. Mysterious Baby, or which is actually Multidimensional Baby, I think is going to be great for us as well. Um, if the shots pass through Multidimensional Baby at any point, they should get the... Uh, they should get the added damage effect. And in our own unique way, I think we're we're working our way pretty easily towards uh, another win here. And another win in a row, which is, you know, all the more important as well. So we can kind of like, get all these shots in a line, and then try to loose them all at the enemy at the same time. The way you, you know, get rid of a fucking crossbow bolt or something like that, or catapult, trebuchet, projectile, you know, 300 meters. Uh, away from you. We are gonna check. Well, thank God we're getting out of this floor. We're gonna check here. We're gonna take fanny pack and then we're gonna blow it up and get something better. Box of friends is not what we want. And to be honest with you, we don't need to buy a battery charge. We're doing well enough as is. Uh, we will get more options and I think we will get hive minds. And then we'll see if there's a good reason for us to blow some more stuff up. And there is, to be honest with you. So we'll try to get two more cents and get theirs options. And then, you know, doing these... Wow, perfect. Doing these floors now has, like, a lot more purpose. This run actually, by the way, has more purpose in and of itself than it had a long... Uh, than it had for a long time. Because now we've got a theme to this run. And the theme is like, holy crap, I didn't even know that, you know, multidimensional baby could be this good. And it took a weird-ass synergy to really make it pop. But multidimensional baby... Combined with uh, my reflection, combined with anti-grav, is getting the job done. I'll be the first to tell you that I'm as surprised as anybody else. But it's actually becoming pretty potent. I mean, being Dark Judas, so your shots do a lot more damage, probably isn't hurting either. We're going to do this floor all over again. So, uh, I mean, Hush is now probably not plausible for us to beat. Or to, to even get to, I should say. To beat? Uh, I don't know. I mean, not a, we're not going to be landing shots with uh, reckless efficiency here. I think that's fair to say. But I don't think we're uh, incredibly poorly equipped to like deal with a hush fight, for example. Maybe we should just keep these shots like circling us. You know what would be great now is shielded tears. And then just like become Morpheus, you know? Stop trying to hit me and hit me. So we got some HP, and we got unlimited keys. A golden key is effectively worth jack shit right now. We have so many keys. A bombs or key pill would, again, flip that valuation on its head a little bit. We don't have a bombs or key pill, though, so... Uh, I'm gonna blow this guy up, give us that deal with the devil chance upgrade again. It's a good testament to what, uh... You know, playing slow, I guess, can do for you here. I mean, half the reason I'm playing slow is because we can't kill things fast to begin with, but... Gotta admit, this run's working out. Uh, it's also a good testament to what Satanic Bible can allow you to live through for a long time. Don't step on the spikes, please. Um, because that item is really, like... Kept us from being thrown to the wolves here. Also, I mean, it helps that it does damage to enemies as well. So this will give us Bookworm. And we're going to stick with Satanic Bible, of course, but, you know, the occasional doubled rate of fire. Maybe not as great with uh, this as it would be with something more targeted, but it's basically, if you want to think about it like this, which I do, it's a tears up in a, in a weird pseudo-esoteric -es sort of way. And a three-cent Diplopia, huh? I know I haven't been using Diplopia uh, in a way that everybody's thrilled with lately. I think we've hit our zaniness quotient for spacebar items. So I'm going to keep uh, Satanic Bible for now. We're probably going to hit max HP, and then you're going to be like, why would you bother keeping that? You could have taken Diplopia and gotten some good stuff to happen. I don't disagree, but our tiers are so weird that I want to not ruin my run by throwing... I, I guess we didn't even have to take the shovel, but it was free, I guess. Um, I didn't want to ruin my run by getting rid of the thing that has enabled us to survive uncertainty, you know? Consider it company loyalty, I don't know. The other thing is, again, Diplopia, 
Really only using it to get like free deals with the devil. You know what else gives us free deals with- uh, Because we're not making boss rush, it's basically free deals with the devil. Um, you know what else gives us free deals with the devil? 18 rooms of uh, satanic bible. Honestly, just hit me. I'm fine with it. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Yeah, take a shot. See if I care. Oh, don't blow up, please. Oh, shit. <laughs> Relatively minor, but he was a good familiar, okay? Dude, I'm not joking. These multi-dimensional baby shots are doing, doing some work right now. We don't really need or want HP. Even though Blood Clot is not very good, uh, I think HP at this point... HP is, uh, the, like, one of the most variable stats. Like, it could be worth nothing. It could be worse than nothing if it pushes, like, a Spirit Heart out of the way that you need. Um, to, for whatever reason. Or, um... It could be the most important resource you could possibly imagine, so... Right now, it's, it's certainly closer to, uh... Something we don't need at all. But, don't let me, uh... Don't let me sour you on HP on the next run. That could change pretty pretty drastically here. Must have been a charged key. Well, you're proving me wrong, game. I said we had no reason to have these keys, and look at that. What have you done? Now I'm going to get rid of Satanic Bible because I'm a hypocrite. I'm going to take Guppy's head because it's a reliable source of guaranteed damage, and we are... Not doing a lot of guaranteed damage right now. Oh, hey, it's Guppy's paw, so now we're Guppy as well. Um, so that's pretty sick. You know what? Now we take Satanic Bible because we got the flies going for us. Because I'm a double hypocrite. That was the best key beggar I've ever seen, I think. You're the greatest beggar I ever did see. Really love your red chest, wanna shake your tree. Guppy, 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 guppy. Yes, that's supposed to be the Joker by the Steve Miller band. Didn't work well, but or did it work great to bypass content ID? Now that's where you're gonna be asking yourself the question. Is Northern Lion some kind of mad genius? Hey, stop hitting me. Small Rock, that's good. Hanged man, that doesn't matter. We're just going for our item room at this point. I mean, we're on the depths fucking one. It's twenty. I don't know why I'm doing a Robert De Niro face. You can't even see it right now, but I. Why are we doing a? This isn't what Robert De Niro sounds like. I don't understand where his voice came from. It's like, I mean, this is a little bit more of a Robert De Niro voice. Uh, excuse me, sir. Your car is ready. Hey, thank you. I'm Robert De Niro. It's more of like Sylvester Stallone trying to sound like a normal human being. Anyway, um, 24 minutes, 25 minutes really, into a, uh, into a run, being on the Depths 1, at, is like, is extremely slow. And it's a combination of two slows here. The one slow, uh, absolutely, PhD, the FUD, um, the one slow is that, uh, you're acting like Carl, that's why your wind's low. No, the one slow is that the run sucked for a little while, the other slow is that, um, we did do that extra floor. And I had a good time doing the extra floor. And we're stacked as a result. And if, if this is the price you gotta pay, then this is the price you gotta pay, right? Wow. Uh, purity is excellent right now. <laughs> Let's try never to get hit again because uh, having six times the rate of fire is pretty sweet. Alright, let's try it out here. Monstro 2. Yeah, okay, I'd like to never be hit again, please. We get Synth Oil, that's a start. Damage goes a little bit up. I mean, usually it's a lot, but when our damage is already good, it's just a little, but it's a good little. Run the Dank Depths too. Now, it's like, let's try to make Hush happen, because that would be ridiculous. We would have about a minute and a half to do each of the remaining floors, but I'm, I'm, I'm invested, I'm eager. I'm reluctantly crouched at the starting line, and I just picked up, willingly, I might add, picked up Fire Mind. Why? I don't know. I guess I've just, I've decided that I'm a bad dude, and I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm just going to start playing by my own rules. 
and here I am taking hive mind and doing all or all sorts of other wild Isaac things like not opening a chest because I'm trying to get to the hush fight for no reason mostly at this point it's here's why I'm gonna try to get to the hush fight is because this run is a win I want to give myself a chance to be thrown to the wolves we gain nothing by going slowly on this run, except for the satisfaction of a one run being piloted to its logical conclusion. To get a hush fight out of this when we were so slow for so long would be exquisite. Wouldn't it feel nice? Wouldn't it be lovely? Isn't she lovely? Where am I going with this? All right, down to the next floor. We got a minute and a half per floor now. And that's the rule. If we make it to the hush fight, we have to fight hush. I'll do it. I also want to test out... Uh, going through the void portal because apparently the secret to going through the void portal is that you just go slowly I tried to keep a straight face during that my bad I guess I must be some sort of idiot trying to walk into the void portal at the pace in which you walk into any doorway in this entire game what are you thinking you idiot it's a speed gated portal you could tell from the edges Please, I can't afford to be having these dead ends. No! My rate of fire! My fake Canadian accent has been replaced! I don't know where I'm from anymore! I don't know what that voice was supposed to be. Oh, okay, good. Dusted. I think we are actually still doing like extremely fine I mean obviously but I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to get back to that you know one rate of fire situation you know one rate of fire on paper sounds bad but it's actually exquisite thing is, is it that Pokemans can only summon like a few different enemies so notice like with in the Pokemon challenge, when you're doing it, or Poke Go, whatever they call the challenge in this freaking game, they like some of the Pokemon that you got were not very good. In when you get the shop item, it seems like they only give you like one of four different items or one of four different uh, familiars, and they're always great. They're they're like the ones that you wanted to see uh, on the challenge, and they only showed up uh, on on occasion. You know, is this an XL floor? It's just a just a long ass floor. Oh. No, nope, purity has lowered our range. Okay, what a strange situation. Thank you. All right, purity has done nothing for us that time. That's okay. Deal with the devil chances at 100%. Should use this. What do you use black rune for? Um, if you make it to the hush fight, you're going to want to suck up a bad doubled room, I think. Probably Jesus Juice and uh, our luck stat's good enough. We're probably not going to get any other deals with the devil. So let's grab Jesus Juice, head down to the next floor. We got 50 seconds in which to get to and destroy the boss of this floor in order to make it to the hush fight. Say our odds of that are on the low side. We spend like four seconds per room and we choose the right direction right off the bat. We might have a shot. Okay, so now we got... 38 seconds in which to do the same. I was positive I was going to get hit there. But I did not. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll be attempting to leave this room. Okay, it's not as easy as you might think. Common misconception. Common misconception. Right hands on the wall. I, I guess I did not destroy that one. I thought I did, so that's on me. I'm not going to die because of the fact that I'm making some silly decisions here. Let's be reasonable. We all know that's not what's going to happen here, hopefully. The damage output is so good. Oh, our rate of fire is back. I didn't even know there was another enemy coming. That's fine by me. Uh, we already got small rock, but more spirit arts could be useful right now. Well, no hush. But I think just the fact that we tried is a is a testament to our in intestinal fortitude. Yep, dodged right into that one. It doesn't matter though. Like there is 
there's the slightest of slight chances, and it's entirely related to Fire Mine, but there's the slightest of slight chances that we die on this run. The odds are so bad, though, that I I don't even want to... Those things don't start spawn? What world are we living in here? Okay, now we actually could completely ruin this run, but only because I'm taking it on my own whim to destroy these enemies. And, like, okay, I don't know what the hell happened there, but... Um, not just to destroy these enemies, but to, you know, try to get this void kill. I still, I, if we win this run, I stand by fire mind. If we lose this run, then we'll start talking about, you know, what is standing for something even mean in today's day and age when, you know, new information presents itself so rapidly that you've got to be able to be adaptable to changing circumstances. But for now, I stand by this fire mind pickup. Sure, it's cost me more spirit arts than anything else over the course of the entire game, but still. It's the principle of the damn thing. I do want to say as well, we have, um, we have there's options. And I'm assuming that there's options is going to be lights out. Hello? There we go. I'm assuming there's options is going to be lights out. Meaning, like, I'm assuming that every boss is going to give us two choices of items. So if we find the items bad, first set, black rune. Triple A battery is actually substantially more useful. Than anything else we got going on right now? So use this, and grab this. You know we're killing it because we're killing mushrooms before they can have a chance to hit us. Now I did formulate that sentence before I realized that one of them was about to hit us. So I ask for your mercy. And, uh, the, you know, submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. The case of the uh, premature bragging. You know. We are gaining HP. What? Did one of you hit? Was I betrayed? I don't know what I got. There were no enemies in there. I I want to give the game the benefit of the doubt. Uh, you know what? It was probably one of my own fire mine shots. That makes way more sense. I, I, I gotta be honest with you. I'm just looking for literally any boss at this point. Delirium. Sure, but really, like, any boss would be pretty good. So, like, I'm just throwing it out here that, like, straight up any boss you could provide, I would be likely to go give him the time of day. We are back to full HP despite all of the awful damage I've taken. You know what we need to do is... I mean, we're already doing a pretty good job of it, but just generate so many flies that when you enter a room, like, the enemies die before you can even shoot. That way, you know, you know, insert roll safe tapping his own head in this, uh, meme right here. Can't get hit if you never shoot. Not delirium, which I think is great. Both of these are relatively not good. Get black runes. Um, we got, like, all relevant stats except tears. Not to an enormous magnitude, mind you, but still. Lest you think I'm super negative about the portals in uh, in Afterbirth Plus. There are a lot of things in that. Oh, but it'll kill us. Um, there's a lot of things in Afterbirth Plus I really like. The Black Rune is one of them. New character, even though I haven't played as her in a while. I really like... I, I mean, I like Void more than I like uh, the character. But I like the fact that the character starts with Void. And it's not really a negative. Like, it's the same as the D6. Like, you know, I, I don't equate the D6 with the items in Isaac. That's that's Isaac. The character of Isaac is the is the D6 to me. Oh, oh, dude, check it. I knew it. I knew if we played our cards right, we'd find a chance. So, what we do... As we come back to this boss room. Oh, no, but we are. <laughs> you know what I was thinking. Can you work it through in your head? I, I have the utmost faith in you. So, what I was thinking, of course, was um, use our extra life to go grab Plan C and then live through Plan C killing us. Because it will also kill Delirium instantly. So, rough situation. If only we had done these rooms in uh, opposite order... We probably would have taken the one up. I like to think we would have taken the one up at least. And then World could be our oyster. Certainly get closer to Beelzebub. Uh than recomplete the guppy transformation. This can't be delirium, which is good. 
Although, no, it, it doesn't always give you the pony down here. We don't want HP, so we'll take butt bombs. We got butt scatter bombs. Um, we don't really care too much about them. And just value add. This could be delirium, yeah, okay. So I'm not gonna pop strength off the bat. What I'm principally looking for is dodging, and then I'm going to, uh, well, it's not a great call, but I'm loving permanent Polaroid invincibility, but it's dodging combined with getting our shots to land so that flies get summoned, and then all of those flies kicking the shit out of Delirium. And I'm realizing now, like, this is gonna work 100%. Like, he's already fucked. We just actually need to land, like, a fly on this <laughs> incredibly difficult to hit section. He gained back a lot of HP there. What are you doing, buddy? There, that's gotta do it, right? He's okay. This is where he will die for real, then. All right, that was a good run. If you had told me that, like, you know, on the third floor of that run, I would have beaten Delirium and done so in a relatively timely fashion, I would have thought you were out of your freaking gourd. But you weren't out of your gourd. In fact, you were well within the realm of your gourd. For now, though, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.